Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. We're live on the show floor at Cloud Expo here in New York City. I have with me Jay Friedman, the president of Districts. Hi. Thank you. So, uh, in terms of districts, districts fits into the overall cloud uh, model and the IoT model around software-defined networking. And there's a broad category of software-defined networking that's focused on data center. We focus on the WAN, or the wide area network within the uh, enterprise operation. Great. So tell us a little bit about software-defined networking and, and the WAN specifically. We know that that kind of changes a little as companies started to move towards cloud and, and trying to create more distributed environment. Um, tell us how you work with your customers to enable that or, or make it better. Yeah, our customers in terms of, you know, a lot of them have built their private clouds uh, and some of them regulatory-wise can't even use uh, the public cloud. What we do is provide a very simple uh, and less complex net way to allow them to communicate across their network, uh, to be able to transport data from point A to point B, uh, where I within their existing networks, it may be an MPLS network with you know, several hundred remote sites, uh, let's say a drilling company that has drilling sites, and they need to be able to communicate uh, across sites and between sites and provide remote connectivity into the network. And so we, pr we help uh, address that. And so in terms of the trend of the software-defined networking, what are some of the challenges that you will see customers face as they try to move to this type of, of networking where it's much more software-focused? Uh, there's some talk around you know, the physical network doesn't matter anymore and so on and so forth. <laughs> I know, <laughs> having spent many years covering networks, uh, the physical does matter, but uh, how, do you, how do you go about in, 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 in talking to your customers about and what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, the physical network does matter because you still need two, uh, two, connection, two physical connections to allow communication to happen. But by completely separating the hardware of the physical network from the software of the, and all the protocols and of the communication links of satellite or Wi-Fi or MPLS networks, you can then make improvements at all levels of the network independent of each other. And so that's, that's the advantage of the software-defined WAN is that uh, you, you can apply the right resources, the, play, the right technology to the problem at hand. Uh, and we do that with you know, a satellite company today that's providing uh, connectivity on passenger ships. Uh, we do that with uh, uh, companies that are providing managed service to banks uh, that need that level of flexibility. So in terms of your customer base, uh, what are some of the verticals who are gaining traction for you? Uh, and who's your buyer today? Is it still the network admin? Uh, it's higher than the network admin. Uh, th there are two people who sort of approach us. One is the IT team who's recognizing that they need to be more um, innovative and responsive to the business. Or it's the operational technologists who are running the business, running the oil and gas fields, or running the manufacturing shop floor saying, I need a better solution and I'm not getting it out of IT. And so it's the IT, OT clash divide that we help sort of resolve and bridge. So, so you mentioned the Internet of Things, and, and that certainly has a big impact on infrastructure in general, on WAN and networks in general. Uh, what is it that you see as one of the bigger challenges as Internet of Things start to roll out and a multitude of devices are already plaguing the network? Now you're going to have 100 million or so more a day you know, coming onto the network. Uh, what are some of the things that districts will do going forward to, to help? customers. So there, there's two big things in terms of the Internet of Things. Uh, today, networks have 1,000, 10,000, 25,000 devices. They have to start thinking about what does it mean to have a million endpoints on their, on their networks. And to be able to scale that and ma easily manage and configure that network uh, it will be a nightmare if they don't use a more software-oriented approach. And the second piece is when you start adding that level of connectivity, the bandwidth you're talking about 200 to 300 percent increases in bandwidth over the next five years. And how do you now do every all of this affordably? Because you can't scale today. Today's cost can't scale to that level of uh, connectivity. It's got to be a different different approach. Absolutely. Great. Well, thank you for joining us today. Uh, you can be reached at districts.com. Uh, thank you for joining us today here at Ciscon TV.